welcome to the Guitar Collection. Well, over the years I have had the great fortune of playing many guitars by uh, the great Antonio Marin Montero of Granada, um, but I have to say none have been quite as fun to play as this Torres model guitar. Now, if you don't know Antonio Marin Montero, you must have been living under a rock. Uh, he has been like the foremost Granada-based luthier for the past, gosh, like 60 years or something. Uh, he is now over 90 years old, and uh, he has very much slowed his production, if not completely stopped. Um, this guitar is signed by him from the year 2023. Um, it is a Torres model, and it is 640 scale. So being a Torres model, not only is the body size a little bit smaller, but also the neck is 640 millimeters long. So it is about 10 millimeters shorter than the standard scale length. And this thing is just so much fun to play. Um, first off, the action is very low. It hardly buzzes no matter how hard you hit it. Um, but I have to say what's fun is the level of comfort mixed with the sounds that you can get on this guitar. Now, if you've been watching uh, videos here on the Guitar Collection channel, you've probably noticed that many times I put carbon G and B strings on the guitars that I play. But this one, I left the trebles all nylon. It's just such a dreamy sound on that third string. It's a really fat sound, but clear enough to cut through. Even in chords, you can hear that. <laughs> heard some of the melodies from the intro on that third string but you get such a sensitive beautiful warm sound when you play up tasto here uh, on the third string it's just so full of overtones and it's like deep and dark and warm yet it's so clear and I think that's usually why I put carbon on the third string. I'm not gonna get too nerdy into this, but I just had to, sh I just had to show you some of that. So you heard me play Tosto a bit on the third string, but also when I brighten up, it just sounds fantastic. You know, the color possibilities on this guitar is what makes it so much fun as well. It feels like you never have to leave whatever note you're playing at that current moment. And also you can put your right hand wherever and it's going to make some sort of magical sound. I'll show you what I mean. And it's so well balanced too. You know, one of the things that I expect when I pick up a guitar this size with this um, Tor older Torres body style and um, just this smaller design, I imagine it's gonna sound a little bit tighter and smaller, but it's just got this huge, loud, open Spanish sound. Um, and a great dynamic range at that. And if you've ever had the fortune of playing a great real Torres guitar, you might have noticed like when you play over the fingerboard, it just rattles against you everywhere. You'll feel it on your left leg, your right leg, and most importantly, your chest. You do this. It's just an amazing sound. So I've been exploring a little bit of the sounds here. I need to tell you more of the specs about this guitar. Um, as well as remind you to subscribe to the Guitar Collection channel. I know so many of you watch these videos without logging in and clicking subscribe because YouTube tells me that. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, uh, that would be awesome. And also you'll stay up to date with all the videos uh, that I'll be releasing. Also check out guitarcollection.com. Uh, there have been lots of new instruments being listed lately. If you put your email address in on the site, there'll be a little box there. Uh, you'll be notified before instruments become available. So definitely do that. I've been really enjoying your comments on these videos. Um, I'm glad you all have been enjoying them too. Okay, let me tell you about this. This spruce top is just fantastic on this Torres model guitar by Antonio Marin Montero. You'll notice his classic rosette design here as he does on all of his guitars, or at least most any that I have seen. 
Uh, it's really quite perfect and simple, um, but everyone knows that as the uh, Marin Montero rosette there. Uh, you'll notice the tie block with this mother of pearl inlay. And then, gosh, I have to flip this guitar around because it has this beautiful Brazilian rosewood back and sides that is just untouched. There's not a scratch or a crack in this thing. It's just in perfect condition. And by the way, the top as well. There are no string slips. There's maybe a couple of little nail marks, no Roschiato marks, just things that, you know, if you lean it in the perfect lighting, you can see something. It's in perfect condition. And even as I looked at the camera here, I could see the Brazilian just popping out here and the figuring on the sides. Um, looking up at the headstock, you will see this Torres style design mixed with uh, Antonio Monteros, of course. Um, and yes, this guitar is a standard 52 millimeter nut, like I mentioned, 640 scale. And I think I've covered most of the specs. Very nice low action here. So without further ado, I will go ahead and play some different passages on this guitar so you can get a better idea of how it sounds. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.
Thank you.